Hi, it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome, here today to talk to you about visiting Rome in July. What's the weather like? Hot. <laughs> what should you wear? What are some things to do? And what can you expect when you visit Rome in July? So, ready? Let's go. All right, what's the weather like? Well, it's hot. <laughs> I'm sweating. Um, the first thing you want to do before you leave your room, go out into the city, is to spray yourself, cover yourself with sunscreen. The sun is very strong. It's very, very hot. Even if you're in the shade like I am, you are going to be in the sun a little bit. So make sure that you protect yourself with sunscreen before you go anywhere. This is peak summer weather. You are not going to need a jacket or long pants, although you might want to bring something which you can use to cover your shoulders and knees when you want to visit the Vatican or any other Christian site. This is absolutely the weather for wearing sandals. Just make sure that they're really sturdy sandals because you're going to do a lot of walking around ruins and on these cobblestone streets and they are not great for flimsy shoes like flip-flops. Unfortunately, we do not get very much rain in Rome in July. I say that because we could really use the rain, but for you as a tourist, don't have to worry too much about the rain, but it doesn't hurt to bring a travel umbrella if you have one. I would absolutely recommend bringing a hat, preferably one that has sunscreen built in. You are going to want to wear a hat when you're walking around in the sun. You know that whenever I recommend anything to pack for any season, I tell you to bring a scarf, and July is no exception. Bring a scarf with you in case you're wearing something with uh, straps so that if you want to quickly cover up so you can go into a church, you can cover up. July is one of those months where we actually do not have a single national holiday, so you're going to find things open pretty much throughout the month. In fact, many things are open at night this time of year, which leads me to things you can and should do when you visit Rome in July. So because it is so, so hot, this time of year, I would suggest avoiding sightseeing in the middle of the day because you've got the sun really, really high overhead. It is very strong, it is very hot, and there's not a lot of shade in the middle of the day. So I would recommend sightseeing early in the morning when you can, especially at the Colosseum where there is no shade, and seeing things at night. Some things you can see at night include the Colosseum, the Vatican Museums on Friday and Saturday nights, the Galleria Borghese, also on Friday and Saturday nights, and there is also a really nice summer fest along the Tiber River this time of year. Another nice thing to do in Rome in July at night is to watch the night shows on the Via dei Fori Imperiali. These are beautiful light shows which bring to life the Emperor Augustus and also Julius Caesar. Nighttime is also a great time to go out and enjoy the piazzas and just the ambiance of Rome. It cools down a little bit, but it's still very lively and you will not be nearly as hot as if you were to walk around in the middle of the day. Certainly one way to cool down this time of year is to head to the beach. The closest beach is at Ostia. It's just half an hour outside of Rome on the metro. Very easy to reach and we have lots of other wonderful beaches nearby as well. What many Romans do to keep cool this time of year is to head up to the Dolomites. And while this is not that close to Rome, you might want to consider making that part of your Italian summer vacation. I did a video about it and I've got a page on the website. We love the Dolomites. I really recommend it if you can fit it in. One of the great things you can do in Rome in July is to attend the opera at the Baths of Caracalla. And I've gotten a little dressed up here. You can dress up, but you don't have to. It's just a lovely thing to do, and the music is incredible. It's put on by the Rome Opera House, so it is a real, honest to goodness, opera. Foods that I really recommend this time of year tomatoes obviously and all those summer fruits like peaches and apricots. In recent years I would have told you not to look for artichokes in Rome in July because they are completely out of season. However, due to so much demand there are artichokes in Rome in July. I just don't ever eat them because it is so out of season. I'm not sure if they're frozen, if they're coming from somewhere else, but you can find artichokes if you want them. Just know that they're not in season. Pretty sure gelato is in season any time of year, and in July, <laughs> this is a great time to get some gelato. I have a page on the website all about where to get the best gelato. I also have a page on the website about how you can tell when gelato is authentic and when it is 
kind of fake and industrial. What can you expect in Rome in July? You can expect crowds. The city is crowded with tourists, just like you, and they all want to see the same things that you want to see. So I really recommend you consider booking some things in advance, in particular the things you really want to see. Usually this means the Vatican Museums, and the Colosseum. Trust me when I tell you that often the Vatican Museums and the Colosseum, in particular special visits at the Colosseum, like for the arena and the underground, they sell out. So don't leave these things till the last minute. This is also true for the Galleria Borghese. You just cannot book this at the last minute. You need to book that in advance. There are a few museums in Rome that you can probably get away with not booking in advance. These include Palazzo Barberini, which is an amazing art museum, the Galleria Doria Pamphili, another amazing art museum, and the Capitoline Museums, which is an incredible museum with ancient Roman stuff and also paintings. It is an amazing museum, really worth visiting, and you probably don't need to book in advance. I say probably because I can't guarantee it. It's better to book in advance if you can. Something else that you really need to book in advance, restaurants. They are crowded as well. All the good ones, if they're on your list, they're on everyone's list. And don't forget that the Romans like to go out as well. Lunch and dinner, you need to book in advance if there's some place specific that you want to eat. And yes, absolutely, you will always find a restaurant, some place to sit down and eat something if you don't want to book in advance. I'm just telling you that the good ones get booked up. One of the things you want to do when you're visiting Rome in July is to hydrate. Be good to your body and drink tons and tons of water. We have water fountains all over Rome, so you don't have to pay for water, but you can also walk around with a bottle that you can fill up at the water fountains as you go. Speaking of water fountains, I carry this cooling cloth with me. It is made of some sort of um, technology, I don't know, some material that stays cold. So you basically wet it and then you just can use it to keep yourself <laughs> cool in this heat. It is a great way to stay cool. Another thing you can do is get these wipes from the pharmacy. They are great for just keeping you clean, but they're also cool. So they're a great way to sort of wipe yourself down when you're sweating in the sweltering sun in Rome in July. One thing you will not be able to do in Rome in July is attend the papal audience. That's the one month of the year that the Pope stops giving the papal audience. They resume in August. Are you coming to Rome in July? Do you have any questions or comments? Please leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. Meanwhile, come on over to the website. I've got pages about packing for Rome in July, current events in Rome in July, and of course, just visiting Rome in July and in summer. Please hit that like button and we'll see you at the next video. Ciao for now.